Surprised to see me? A little. I'm more surprised that I lived so long. He's still Bruce Wayne. He's passionate, he's powerful. One of the most iconic performers ever to take on the mantle of the Dark Knight will play an older version of Bruce Wayne, but not for the first time. Legendary voice actor Kevin Conroy, who defined Batman and Bruce Wayne for a generation with his work on Batman the Animated Series and later Batman Beyond, will play an elderly live-action version of Bruce Wayne in the CW's upcoming Crisis on Infinite Earths TV event. The announcement came during a panel at the Television Critics Association's summer event announcing more additions to the CW's massive superhero crossover event that already has fans excited for the return of Brandon Routh Superman and 60s Robin Burt Ward. Holy cats! A cat! Cress Williams' Black Lightning will also join the five-part TV event along with Conroy's elderly Bruce Wayne. No details yet on how tightly the live-action version will hew to the Bruce Wayne from Batman Beyond, but it's safe to say Conroy knows a thing or two about how to approach a grizzled, semi-retired version of the Cape Crusader. When Conroy stopped by our live stream at San Diego Comic-Con, we asked him what defined his older, battle-hardened version of Bruce Wayne. It's the same man. He's not a feeble 80 years old. Well, when you're in your 20s, your, your entire life is ahead of you. You know, it's limitless. Um, when you're in your 80s, so much of your life is behind you. You just have a different perspective on life. Um, so he's more um, retrospective and he introspective. Fans of Batman Beyond can't forget Conroy's portrayal of an ever-vigilant crime fighter limited by his aging body, yet still determined to continue his mission with the help of young Terry McGinnis. He's still Bruce Wayne. He's passionate. He's powerful. He's, he's got the moral um, integrity he always had. His body just won't do what he wants it to do. So he has to recruit a young man to help him. But um, it's, it's, at his core, it's the same man. He's just more frustrated than he was. The animated series starts with a graying Bruce's decision to hang it up as Batman after a strain on his heart forced him to pick up a gun during a fight. Never again. Spoke too soon there, Bruce. Anyway, he later enters into a reluctant agreement with the very shui and streetwise Terry McGinnis, the next-gen Batman developed for the series. But if Conroy's Bruce will appear in Crisis on Infinite Earths, could the CW fire up the bat signal to summon a Terry McGinnis? <laughs> Next time, use email. Tell us what you think. Is there anyone better to play an older Bruce Wayne than Kevin Conroy? Could this be the precursor to live action Batman Beyond? Head to the comments and let us know. Thanks for watching. For more Batman Beyond, check out our Comic Con live stream conversation with Kevin Conroy, Will Friedel, and Bruce Tim, and our look back at Batman Beyond 20 years later. Be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch. <laughs>